the latter portion of my career, um, I've really, I, I came to the, the frustrating portion of, of being a person who's done bone marrow transplantations their entire career and um, really looked at it uh, uh, maybe now and how it's going on approximately 20 years that um, people were very focused on, well, getting people into remission and graft versus host disease and treatment related mortality. But what people fail to, to note um, in, in transplantation is the number one cause of death is recurrence of disease. And, you know, and how do we get patients to, um, to transplantation and uh, get them in remission when they do relapse, keep them in remission and then prevent remiss, prevent relapse after transplantation or for specific therapies. And so this has been a, a large focus of my career in trying to get other investigators interested in this problem. And fortunately that's, that's happened. Why this, this study in particular um, was uh, is, is one of the areas of research that has really made an impact. Uh, and what we're realizing is that um, is enhancing the immune system to be more specific because when we, do, when we do bone marrow transplants, um, we just pour as a good friend of mine, Sergio Geralt said, the three P's of transplantation is prep, pour and pray. Um, uh, in the sense that you do conditioning regimen to prep the patient, you, you pour in the cells and you hope those cells are doing that. And in this study, uh, I, uh, the, um, investigators from Baylor, uh, looked at three specific antigens that are kind of universal to, um, to acute lymphoblastic leukemia and actually can be expressed in acute myeloid leukemia as well. And they were able to take allogeneic lymphocytes and uh, co-culture them in pr the presence of this, of these antigens and come up with a cell population that were more specific towards these antigens and able to demonstrate that the relapse rates were significantly lowered through the use of these cells. Now there's similar work being done by other investigators, most notably those at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research uh, Center. But I actually believe now becoming having more specific therapies and, and in combination with bispecifics and actually CAR T cells um, uh, that this is, we are making an impact now on, on relapse and actually coming up with better ways to treat relapse where the most greatest impact is going to be is relative when we do it early before we get a uh, full blown relapse. And yet these strategies of incorporating these, these various modalities, I do think is going to further enhance the efficacy of multiple therapies across both acute myeloid and acute lymphoblastic leukemia.